holy guacamole it's hot in this car but you know acoustics lighting <laughs> but truly i'm here with another impromptu video because somebody rattled me today on the internet that's right a troll got to me back in march of 2020 i started shuffle dancing as a form of like stress relief for COVID. And I did it solely because I loved it. And I started to share it on the internet and people really started to love it. My Instagram account blew up. I was gaining like 100 to 200 followers a day. I think there's one for sure that has over 2 million. I think there's five that have over a million, which is super cool to have something grow so organically just from doing something and sharing something that I loved. And the support and the love I received from people on the internet was incredible but there's always people out there that are miserable and hate to see happy people spreading happiness and joy. That's what I'm here to talk to you about today. And I'm especially making this video for anyone who is just starting out into social media or maybe their account has just recently blown up and they're seeing a lot more activity and they're starting to see some of these really negative and kind of hurtful and hateful comments coming their way because I've gotten lots of them. And I'm going to share some of the craziest, most insane and hurtful, horrible things that people have said to me on the internet. <laughs> when I first started dancing, I lived in an apartment that had two levels and I used to dance in the living room which was kind of in front of the staircase i used to get so many messages from people wishing and hoping that i would fall down the stairs and die <laughs> like why when i would receive those messages i didn't really think too much of those like really you hope i die for dancing like are you are you that unhappy? I've had a lot of people as well tell me I'm not a good dancer. That also doesn't really hurt my feelings. Although it doesn't feel good, I don't really take it to heart because I actually have no dance training. Everything I learned was from reels and tutorials on Instagram. I don't dance to... I only dance because I love it. So if you don't think I'm good at that, it doesn't matter. Because I'm not doing it to be good, I'm doing it because it feels good. There's also been some more disturbing like sexual type references as well, which have been a little bit weird. Like there's a lot of feet people out there with foot fetishes. Feet are gross. I have had someone ask if they could have my dirty, smelly sneakers. I've had people ask to buy my old clothes. People ask me to send them pictures of my feet. I had someone offer me $1,000 if I'd send them my underwear. I think possibly I'm missing out on some lucrative business opportunities here, but you know, <laughs> ah well. Ah, uh, what else? Actually, I had a guy once you know what there's a couple that are just too gross Ugh. i don't think i'm gonna share those ones it's a little bit too much i don't want to get like banned from youtube anywho that was part of the reason why i did take a little bit of a break from dancing most of the time i can just let that those comments like bounce off my shoulders or whatever and it not affect me but every now and then for whatever reason like the stupidest comment will just like grind my gears about two weeks ago i posted a video and i was like oh i'm back you know i'm feeling good I, I got a space where i can dance turn the music up loud and i shared the video a video a dance video for the first time in like over six months and the response was awesome the video had 65 comments like 449 likes there was over 7,000 views and i think like 64 of the 65 comments were like welcome back we're so happy you're here you know like we missed you just really positive amazing stuff right like 99 percent. then there's that one comment he's like we didn't miss you please stop you suck okay it's you not me anyway today <laughs> i posted a silly little dance video it was the men in black dance video it was something i did one take oh you know kind of feeling it. it was a sunny day feeling happy and i did a little dance to the men in black video so this guy and it's always guys why are the boys bullying me like please stop he said awkward and so i'm thinking to myself i'm looking at the video and i'm like am i awkward no Mel, you don't question yourself. This is a troll. And this person is not important. And if I am making them feel awkward from a really joyful, happy, smiley dance, I think there's bigger issues going on here. The moral of the story is don't worry about them trolls. Don't worry about them haters because there's 99, for every 100 people, there's 99 people out there who are really happy that you are sharing what you have shared with them. 
There's always going to be that one or two people who suck. Let's not worry about those people because they don't matter. They're, they're not people we would want in our real life. Anyways, haters going to hate. Ignore them. They don't matter. Sometimes it's easier to ignore them than others. And on those days that it's hard to ignore, do not respond. <laughs> what you are doing matters. The joy you're sharing, the happiness you're sharing, the whatever it is. Just keep doing what you're doing and know that almost all of us are really happy that you're doing it. And thank you for being here and listening to me. Bye guys. Have a great day.